it going, folks? Nick here with the Theater Firm Culture Vlogs. This is Otto, my co-star. Uh, and yeah, I'm back here working on the homestead. I'm just actually, uh, it's about midday, 11.30ish uh, a.m. So it's uh, a little bit late than I usually do this, but it was kind of pouring all morning. We had thunderstorms coming in, big, big tropical wave passed through. So got quite a bit of rain, actually. So I don't have to worry about watering, which is always nice. Uh, today I'm actually going to do a bunch of grass maintenance, I just have not gotten onto that, so I actually need to harvest grass for mulch, so basically that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then we might get into prepping a garden bed, uh, where we're just kind of done with the current crop and get it ready for the next one, so that's what we're working on, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So, some of this was from yesterday, but you can see here I got just about three quarters of an inch of rain here. Uh, it looks like uh, about 19 mil, just under 19 mil. So, quite a bit of rain for us. Uh, that was probably, was probably about a quarter inch yesterday. I didn't actually check it, but we got a decent amount of rain yesterday, and then we had a whole bunch this morning. So, probably about half inch today, quarter inch yesterday, and uh, that's plenty of rain for us right now. All right, so I've already checked in on the chickens today. I already fed them and everything, so we don't have to really do that. But I will just give a quick little, just look in here after all that rain. Still have a decent amount of mulch up here. Down there, the bedding's kind of starting to uh, degrade a little bit, but it um, looks like they're scratching it over for me. So I might move a little bit of that all back up just to cover a couple of little bare spots of soil that I'm seeing here. But overall, not too bad. Not too bad in here for all this rain. Chicks are really growing up. They're getting much bigger and much more confident in themselves. And of course we have Henry over there on the other side of the fence, wandering around. That's our adopted chick. Still not quite welcome into this flock, unfortunately, but it's, too, it's a little bit better now. They, they are much more used to seeing him around or her around. Yes, yeah, so since we're gonna be focused mainly on grass, it's gonna be Otto's favorite day, because this is always his favorite task that I do out here. But you can see all that super overgrown, so I'm going to try to harvest a lot of that from mulch because I need a bunch of mulch. And then we're going to move down and around the corner and harvest some grass from down there. And the basic goal here is we're doing it all because my little cucumber patch is, I think, done. I think it's done at this point. See, I did add some compost extract to try to give it a little bit of a boost um, here, but you can see these are all just kind of dead and dying and sad. So I think this is done. So I'm gonna kind of clear and prep this bed for whatever's gonna come next, which I'm actually not really too sure about right now because we are heading into uh, both the extreme point of hurricane season and uh, in the middle of the summer. So it's the hottest, so kind of interesting. I'll have to plant something summery. Um, I am noticing actually down here that there is some really fresh growth with a brand new, uh, brand new flower. So I might just kind of maybe cut this back a little bit or something. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. Definitely gonna add some compost because we have compost that is ready at this point. So I'm gonna definitely add compost in here to hopefully just get a little bit of a boost and we'll see what happens with that. And uh, yeah, any, other than that, we're gonna get started with, uh, with this grass work. First step as usual is to remove all the major seed heads. There's a lot in here because it's been a while since I've done this. Now that the major seed heads are off, I'm gonna start harvesting. I'll just kind of pull out any seed heads that remain as I get going. This is all the grass that I harvested from just this little patch. Patch right here, all this coming down. That'll end up, just gonna leave it there to dry. There are some seed heads in there, so I'll have to pick those out, but that'll end up being mulch for when I get around to working on this garden. While we're at it, I'm just gonna harvest some uh, of this canna lily over here for the chickens, because they love it and it's getting a little tall. <laughs> so it's time to do a little bit of that harvest. So we'll do that real quick. All 
All right, that is uh, much cleaner there, up along the fence there. Otto was joining me in playing for a while during that. And this should be enough of mulch to essentially cover up all that bedding that I need to cover up in the chickens. Plus it's a feed for them, so it's a double thing. It's adding bedding and it's also adding uh, food for the chickens. So we'll bring that in now. All right, that was a good little addition. I added it mostly actually underneath their, uh, underneath their coop because I was getting a little bare. Uh, and then just kind of filled it in as needed from there. Didn't quite get all of it, but that's all right. Now I'm just gonna cut down this grass a little bit, make it a little bit more easy to walk around. Then I'm gonna let the chickens out in here and they're gonna love the nice uh, freshly cut grass. Alright, so that's uh, this small little lawn cleaned up a little bit. Make it a little bit more accessible for the chickens, especially the chicks. All that excess, there's so many seeds in the grass down here that I just put, basically mounded up all the cuttings around these two, uh, these two plantains here. So that'll help feed them long term. And uh, I'm sure the chickens will come and scratch these out. But these guys have grown hugely since I pushed per first put them in, which is not that long ago even. I think it was like a couple months ago I planted these, and these guys are, this one here, the topper leaf is about as tall as me already. This one's probably a good five-ish feet tall already. Pretty crazy. Also noticing uh, right down here to Hacienda Rosa's uh, family's delight, there's a bunch of these Filipino coconut starts. I have a whole bunch right underneath the tree here. All, there's probably six or seven of them there. I got three of them right here. There's a pretty big one right here. So I probably got at least 10 of these, uh, the coconut right here, these guys. This tree, I have a bunch of babies from the coconuts that fell. So that's why I always leave a few coconuts every time we harvest a bunch because every once in a while they'll start growing and then we have fresh new coconut trees. Not only new, but will hopefully produce way more coconuts, you know, that's pretty exciting. So yeah, cat's being pretty lazy. He's not really helping me today or playing. He's just kind of watching from the side. And uh, I'm about to let these chickens out and we'll see how they react to auto being down there, I guess. I'll leave you guys right around here. So when they go by, you'll be able to see. And we'll see if there's any interesting interactions here. You know, the grass is cut. Mama's much more comfortable with walking over here with her chicks. Before, she would kind of just stay in this small little area and not really explore too much. But now that the grass is down and they can see more, they're more comfortable with actually exploring. And you can see she's going right towards all that grass I cut and finding the goodness that's in there, taking her chicks with her. And this is a very good mama. Probably too good, in fact. She's uh, very, very protective. She attacks me all the time, even though I'm just trying to help them. But uh, yeah, you know, I'd rather have her attack me than uh, have chicks that get got by something. Here the chicks and mama exploring the nicely fresh cut pasture for them. Love watching chickens on freshly cut grass. They really love to you know, explore and see what's around. You see mama's on the lookout for anything that might be a predator above or below. She's kind of scoping out the whole area before she's completely comfortable and starts to eat. And that's a good mama for you. Now she's gonna start scratching all that nice fresh uh, 
grass I just put down and ruined my little mound of stuff. So I'll have to repile that later. That's okay. I don't mind. That means my chicks get nice food. I can't be happier. Other mama's over there getting some fresh food. And the rooster's probably over there too in the dust bath area. Otto is hiding in the in the shade over here behind this little fence so he doesn't get attacked because he will get attacked by the chickens if he gets too close. So in fact I just heard the rooster uh, calling at him unhappily. I'll take a real quick look at this compost. So this is uh, pretty much done down here. It might it could probably go for a little longer but you can see here this is Nice, well broken down, some still woody chunks in here. Smells really nice, like forest floor, nice humic acids in there, that's what I'm looking for. Nice dark brown color, kind of like a 70% chocolate, dark chocolate. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, the chickens have helped me do this in really good time. So all of this kind of thing is probably about, you know, at least eight inches to a foot deep here. Uh, of compost and it's all pretty much from kind of this line right here on the screen down all of this is the fresh compost and it's all pretty much ready so I can take that start adding it to the garden but I think today's vlog is probably long enough already so I'm not going to do that today I'll be able to do that another day and uh, also just because I just need to eat a little something get some water in me so I'm going to sign off for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me get more reach and have that motivation to keep on going. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one.